Well, it's the morning of May 10th, and we're back in on the river unit. A couple days ago, I kayaked way back in here, and today we came way back in on foot. Got Ted Miller with us this morning. Aaron's behind the camera, and we've got, sounds like two or three birds gobbling just beyond this backfield here. I know the back bird is in his spot. Yeah. Those birds are gobbling about oh, 150 yards through the timber right now. Just as we were getting set up here, there was actually a hen that flew down 60 to 70 yards away from us here. She's been yelping a little bit too. Those birds obviously know that there's hens over here, so hopefully they'll eventually make their way in this direction. They don't seem to be in any big hurry to move, which means they may have hens with them, but if we can stick with them throughout the morning, I think there's a good chance that we can call a bird in. There's a bunch of them down in this river bottom. We're going without a decoy this morning, so hopefully we'll get some really good gobbling and some just really good footage of birds strutting coming through this open timber. I've got Ted set up about 30 yards behind me and Aaron maybe five or 10 yards. We're kind of trading off doing calling.
right. Okay. about that for a show. <laughs> Ted. <laughs> we talk about a nightmare for trying to coordinate a shot, being separated and then having four birds spread out like that. What do you think, Ted? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty. It is pretty. It's all spread well, out there. When I shot, there was a little bit of a pause because he just disappeared. Yep. I saw his wing flap. Yeah, there. I didn't. I couldn't see any of that. I was like, "Well, I know I was on him." This may be one of the most picturesque mornings of turkey hunting I've ever had. Down in this bottom, sun shining through, birds coming in, gobbling like that. Yeah, that was a fun time there. <laughs> that was real fun. Yeah, it's amazing how many birds are in Iowa anymore. When you know, when I was growing up as a kid, we never had turkeys. You know, and they originally. I'm not sure the exact date, but they, you know, in Stevens Forest areas where they originally mm -hmm. started them and they were afraid that, you know, they, it took a large block of timber to hold turkeys, but once they figured out that they would adaptable in smaller yeah. patches and, you know, they just, once they started transplanting them, they just moved out over all of Southern Iowa. Just amazing how many turkeys went from zero to yeah. what it is now. Yeah, you know, they've done extremely years. well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Derek and I actually started out back in here just because of the, the history that we have with this spot. We started hunting mm -hmm. those fields the first day and the turkeys weren't really using the fields. They were back in this timber. You know, with it being a little bit of a late spring, the grass isn't grown up as much as it typically is during the fourth season in May when we're normally killing birds out in the field. So we took advantage of that fact. I think three days ago, I kayaked back in on the same piece with kind of the same idea of getting way back in and trying to find birds that hadn't been hunted. And you're you know, just across the river, right? Just across the river on the north side. So, that, you know, that worked out well. And then we came out this morning, just hoofed it on foot, came back in here to a spot where birds were stacked up. I don't know that they've been getting much hunting pressure back in here either. You think like a lot of the hens are sitting on their nest like 24 seven now, right? Pretty close, um, yes. So, you know, once there's less hands for the gobblers to be interested in. Mm -hmm. That's definitely what's happening right now. In fact, the other day when we were helping Greg get his kayak out up there at the bridge where we parked, there was a hen on 13 eggs right there by the bridge. And once that happens, once the majority of the hens have laid their whole clutch, that's when these things become suicidal. You know, <laughs> <laughs> They still had hens with them this morning. After we watched those two go off, I kind of filmed them move off back behind us right. and those toms never moved they just yeah. stood there yeah. strutted you know i could see their white heads just tucked in back in that timber and eventually i uh i waited until those hens moved off and then ted and i got to call a little more aggressively at them yep. they gobbled a couple of times and here they came right up through that grass kind of stressful at the last bit a there bit. though they got within range and there's four birds standing down my gun barrel and i know i could kill them at any point but i don't know what aaron can see and you know, trying to get it all coordinated, but thankfully it, it worked out. What do you say we get this guy back up to the rut wagon? And yeah. Hopefully Ben and Keith, Keith and, and Zach. Zach have had success this morning. They were going in with the ghillie seats this morning to try to lay down and snipe <laughs> one from the edge of the lake. Yeah, boy, it's been an incredible spring. The, the entire turkey tour has been, you know, we've just been very blessed. Uh, with, yeah. You know, having fun and success along the way, and then also more recently having friends come to town and hunt Iowa with us. Derek Jones got got himself his first Eastern. And Derek, Ted's got two. <laughs> We've got to show you that footage yet too. Yep, it's been an incredible spring and having a lot of fun getting to hunt with friends. And Ted, glad you came along this <laughs> yeah, morning. It was fun. <laughs> it was a good time. Heck yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool when you, just before Greg shot him, you got him to gobble like that with that call or whatever. Mm -hmm. Man, that's <laughs> that's why that's why I don't like using decoys sometimes, um, because it forces them to come in there looking for you, 
And when they do that and you call, they'll gobble because that's what they're trying to to get you to poke your head up or pop oh, out good. so they can see or whatever. If you have if you have a decoy out, they're gonna see it and they're either gonna go to it or they're not, but they're they've seen the turkey at that point. Right. So there's no reason for them to gobble. They know, you know, that, that Yeah, it was seemed like a real aggressive gobble. He was hammered pretty good there. That yeah, was awesome. They were ready to go. The only bad thing was my target was moving. That's what makes me nervous. I filmed my dad one time miss one at like five yards because he came in strutting. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll get him to gobble. He's like, okay. Get him to pop his head out of strut. Right. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got right over. <laughs> I can see I was how afraid that of. could happen. Yeah. Yeah. I was hoping they were going to come right up in there to, the, to right into our grill, you know, but I, I, with that many turkeys, that was going to be hard to pull off. Yeah that many of them getting that close to three guys even though we we're hid pretty well i mean you can get it you can get against something like this even <coughs> that's not wider than your shoulders and get down in here and you just look like another trunk right you know and lean down in there and you've got this grass that's about well for, and for the most part across this bottom it's about knee high we put those drapes over us kind of break up our outline here right and if you're tucked in on a gun, you know, they're gonna come, they're gonna run you over in here. They ain't gonna see you. That's why I love these spots. Back me in, Hans. Well, we're packing up camp. Overall, we've had a pretty successful trip down here to the lake. Greg wrapped it up and uh, got himself a bird, and actually Ben and Keith and Zach just killed one about uh, 30 minutes ago. They're waiting out the rest of this storm trying to get Zach his uh, final turkey of the year here in Iowa. So overall, pretty good trip, wouldn't you say? I had a lot of fun. Yeah, but I want to give you guys a quick tour of the rut wagon here. These are uh, pretty nice accommodations for uh, us regular folks. Yeah, compared to what we're used to. But uh, it's really sweet. The guys up at Legendary built this thing and a lot of thought went into it. If we start here at the back, you've got these uh, big cleaning tables that you can pull out and stretch across the back doors, clean game on and stuff. That's what I cleaned my bird on the other night. Got our cooler in here. And then this cot system is pretty sweet. Like these space saver cots, what are they called? Looks like it is discobed.com is where they got these cots. And there's four of them in here. They just stack in there real nice. You can fit a lot of stuff in this trailer and then they've got you know running lights on the inside lights on the outside got our generator right in here and even a freezer that we can plug in if we've got access to electricity we can use the generator or they've even got batteries in here that if you charge before you go on a trip, you can have power. Really sweet. A little bit nicer than our old tent that we've been using here. Fixing the storm pretty bad. And we've got a lot of editing to do here in the next couple of days for you guys. So next stop, we'll be in Wisconsin next week. We're gonna be towing the rut wagon up there, hanging out with the legendary guys. Might try to meet up with Dan Infault along the way. I think our buddy Eric Barber is gonna come along with us. And we'll be hunting public land up there for some late season turkeys. We can't wait. It's going to be the last trip of the year. So we're pretty excited about it. We just got to figure out how we're going to pull this, pull this thing up there. Yeah. Because I got my buddy's truck right now. The Hummer won't pull it. I don't have the right wiring harness. So we might have to rent a truck to get it up there. But either way, it's going to be sweet. Yeah, I'm good. Let's roll. Thanks, you guys, for tuning in. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a like, and uh, try to stay dry. See ya.